hello guys in this video I'm going to show you how you can solve this problem while running some game or running some app which says the application was unable to start correctly due to this problem which is 0xc000007 b click OK to close the application so whenever uh, this error comes while playing some game or running some app how we can solve it so first of all what ne you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for download direct x okay so just search for download direct x and this direct x uh, is a product from uh, microsoft and you need to install this direct x to support some games or some applications okay so search for download DirectX and the first link most probably which will appear here will be uh, from microsoft.com slash download slash detail dot ASPX I will just uh, give you this link in the description so you can directly uh, you know click this link but I'm going to uh, click this link right now and this will open this download link for DirectX here okay now in here you just need to choose your favorite uh, language and download direct X and in here uh, it will give you some options MSN default home page and Bing default search engine it's not required so you can uncheck these options you just need direct X uh, and user runtime web installer and not uh, these extra tools from uh, Microsoft so uncheck everything and then you can say no thanks and continue and it's going to start the download so you can see this executable file I can save this executable file it's not a big file so I can just run it so just go to the location where you have downloaded this file and then just run this file okay so this will start this direct X installation okay right now I will just uh, minimize everything and start the installation so installation real is really easy you just need to accept the license agreement they click next and then it will initialize all the components and basically you just need to click some next button in order to install this DirectX and you can see installation is complete and finish just click the finish button here okay now second uh, solution for your problem is to update your dotnet framework right so if you are uh, running your game or application on windows it's necessary to uh, update your dotnet uh, framework so just search for dotnet uh, framework and then search for it and you can see dotnet framework is a framework which is from uh, Microsoft which it uses to develop some apps or games right so just search for dotnet framework and uh, just click the first link which is www.microsoft.com slash net okay I will give you this link in the description also and then click this link which will open uh, this Microsoft website once again and in here you can see three options you need to choose this dotnet downloads option and in here go to frameworks and SDKs and in here you can see all the version of uh, .NET, uh, framework download the top one is the latest version and then you have the older version of .NET also okay so you can start with uh, downloading the topmost version which is the latest so just click this and just go down a little select your language download it and it's going to uh, you know give you the save option just save this executable file once again and then run this file so just run this executable file once again and it's going to install this dotnet framework on your computer and you can see it's uh, you know adding some DLL files to your computer which will help you to run your uh, application right 
so we we'll just wait for uh, this uh, microsoft.net framework to install and at the end of uh, the installation just uh, you, let's go through the installation right so just uh, click this checkbox click install and then all the download uh, will be done and when the installation will be done hopefully your um, you know uh, problem will be gone but if it's not gone you just need to restart your computer in order to you know uh, apply all the changes so generally whenever on your windows operating system you install dotnet framework or directx framework you need to restart your computer so just restart your computer and then check it once again and hopefully this error will be gone so i hope you have enjoyed this video please wait comment subscribe and bye for now